Hey everybody, I want to share a uh, something that happened today. I was a part of a meeting today where we really started talking about uh, discovering our why, discovering our purpose as an organization. And you know what was so cool? One is the fact that we're even having that conversation in the first place. You know, a lot of organizations, you know, they say, "Well, we have our mission statement." Well, what good is a mission statement if nobody in your organization understands what it is? So today we were talking about why. We were talking about our purpose and what drives us as an organization. You know, Simon Sinek says it best where he says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So in order for us as an organization to, to push forward and, and to sell the services that we sell, you know, we really have to understand what it is, or I'm sorry, why it is that we're doing it in the first place. So Simon Sinek, he's got what he calls the, the golden circle. And it looks like a target where at the, at the middle of it, is simply the word why. You know, if you start with why, then you move to how, and then you move to what. You know, everybody in the organization knows what you do. A lot of people know how you do it. But really, when you get down to it, not everybody knows why you do what you do. And if you can unpack that, if you can, if you can define that, and then if you can get people to buy into that statement, you know, that's, that's where organizations really start to move forward. You know, Simon Sinek gives his... Uh, he gives examples of Martin Luther King. You know, he wasn't the only orator of the day, and he wasn't the only person who grew up in a, uh, you know, pre-civil rights movement or in a pre-civil rights era. But what he did is he got people to believe in what he believed. And when people believe what you believe, you know, it starts to take on momentum of its own. So he he talks about, you know, the day that he gave the speech, the "I Have a Dream" speech. You know, he was. He was sharing what he believed. He wasn't saying, I have a plan. He was saying, this is what I believe. And people, people, people were there, people showed up because they believed what he believed in the first place. So all that to say, you know, when we start with why, when you understand your why and where your organization understands the why, then, then you're you know, on a great path to great things. So the fact that my organization was even having this conversation in the first place, you know, is truly special. So it's fun to be a part of an organization Who's, who's thinking outside of the box and who's looking for ways to, to be special. So thank you for watching. I hope you tune in again. Thanks.